solution just for you. As far as I can remember, photographers used to hide all of their gear away from sight. And you know what? Maybe they still do. But ever since I displayed my camera lenses in my home office, I just quickly realized that they actually add an aesthetic appeal to my space. So I decided to create this gear corner to serve as an organizer and eye candy. So in this video, I'll be breaking down the gear corner and give you a little tour of this part of my garage studio. Mevo is an ecosystem for multi-camera recording and streaming with easy to use software that lets you capture high definition audio and video. It's the simplest and easiest way to tell your story from as many camera angles as you need. The cameras connect to your Wi-Fi network and can be controlled using just your mobile device. Each camera is equipped with a low distortion lens and a built-in battery that can last up to six hours of continuous use. But the best part, everything is done wirelessly. This makes the Mevo camera system extremely portable and easy to set up. Perfect for live performances, food creators, events, podcasts, and fitness creators. There's actually a whole lot more that Mevo can do, so check them out and see how Mevo can help elevate your video creation. There are three main pieces to the gear corner. First is this industrial shelf. Next is this pegboard and the light above it. This is a heavy duty garage storage shelf from Amazon that costs less than 200 bucks. And it's actually a five tier shelf, but I decided to only build three shelves to make room for the pegboard right above it. This configuration measures at three feet tall, four feet wide and 18 inches deep, which is just the right size to be not in the way and the right height for me. And here we have the black pegboard from Ikea. And people have been asking me how I got this color. Apparently, it really depends on your location. It just so happens that in my location, this was available. So I guess I got lucky. I got this really nice wall light fixture from Etsy. And I like the fact that it matches the garage studio. Also, it's bright enough to actually illuminate the gear corner. Some other stuff that I got from Ikea are these matching containers and hangers. And I also found these 3D printed headphone hangers from Etsy. All right, so I'm gonna shut up for a bit and I'm gonna show you how I put this thing together. And this is the finished pegboard. I'm using plastic storage bins from Amazon to hold various items that I might need to photograph later or use for one of my videos. And since these are the things that I don't necessarily need to use right away, it just made sense for me to organize them as best as possible so that I can easily find them later. And the bottom shelf holds various desk accessories as well as bags for my gear. Instead of laying out all of the gear on the top, I added this beautiful solid oak desk shelf from Grovemain. Even though the original purpose of this desk shelf is to raise the monitor and provide additional storage space, I think it works great as just a regular shelf for your gear. I hid a power strip behind the desk shelf so I could plug in my bug catcher, my security cam, and this Satechi desktop charger. And I added a fake plant, just because. Now it's time to place the gear, starting with the new Apple HomePod, which sounds great, by the way. Followed by a compact laser projector, a couple of my lenses, and my other camera. A little pen holder to hold some tools and accessories, my Apple Watch charger, and of course my MagSafe charger. And I keep my tech bag hidden right behind the shelf. I have two of these catch-all trays by Bololo, which are hidden underneath the desk shelf, and I use them to hold my batteries and chargers, and a couple of other camera accessories. And this is where I store my earbuds, such as the Beats Fit Pros, these new Motorola's that I'm testing, and my AirPods Pros. And of course, I can't forget the different pairs of eyewear. A couple more things go underneath the shelf, which is a portable battery, the remote for my projector, some mini tripods, and my X3 action cam. And two additional fake plants to fill up the space. And this is what the gear corner looks like when it's filled up. But let me show you some of the items that I actually have here. I'm a big fan of headphones, so I currently have three in rotation. I also have a box cutter for packages, a flashlight, a pair of scissors, and electrical tape. 
Aside from other accessories such as batteries and ball heads, I have magnetic LED lights here, which are super useful when I'm trying to light up a space for my photos or videos. Like this LED light one, which is one of my most used tools because I use it to light up my background when I'm recording videos. I also just recently purchased a field monitor, so I keep it here for easy access. And when I'm creating content using my phone, I have the switch pod with this magnetic attachment by moment, and it makes it very easy to attach my iPhone to the stand. I know that I mentioned I'm a huge fan of headphones, and at this moment, my favorite are these PX8 by Bowers & Wilkins. They are incredibly comfortable and they sound amazing. Definitely a step up from the PX7s that I also own. Noise cancellation works really well and the sound transparency is quite decent. I also want to briefly mention that the Ameron Wireless Copper by Bear Dynamics sound amazing, especially considering that they are four years old, or maybe five, I can't even remember. They're just not the most comfortable, but they sound really good. Anyway, moving on. I keep the tools that I need for my camera accessories in this pen cup holder, and this Satechi desktop charger powers my Apple Watch charger and my MagSafe charger. I also use Sony NPF batteries for my slider and some of my lights, so I keep a couple of them here with chargers. Sometimes capturing a different angle is necessary for my videos, and for that I use my Sony A6300, and although this camera is rather old at this point, it still works amazingly well, and since it's small and light, I use this for a lot of my overhead shots. And here we have my 50mm prime, my 20mm prime, and a telephoto lens. Oh, and this foldable L bracket, it's very, very useful when I'm trying to capture vertical content for short form videos, usually for Instagram reels. I already made a separate video on this portable laser projector, which I'll be linking at the top of this video. So I just thought it would be a cool idea to keep it here in the garage studio. So when I wanna watch movies, I can just pull down the projector screen. Like I said in the beginning, my gear corner is more than just a place for me to organize my things. It serves as the main focal point of this garage studio, and I'm really happy with how it turned out. Instead of keeping things in the closet, I like the idea of being able to see them, but in a more pleasing setting. The wood finish of the Grovemade desk shelf and the utilitarian characteristic of the pegboard makes for a great combination that speaks purpose, but also in a fun way. Now, I'm sure this isn't going to be the final iteration of this corner, but for now it works. It's efficient and it's visually appealing to me. Because if I don't enjoy looking at the objects around me, well, I might as well just throw them in storage. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I got more stuff coming. Thanks for watching.